Have you ever wondered what it's like to start your international trip with the business lounge? If yes, then this video is for you. Today we're reviewing three Air France International Business Lounges in Charles de Gaulle Airport. We'll start with a detailed tour and we'll show all of these lounges have to offer. And I encourage you to stay till the end of the episode because this is where we'll be sharing tips on how to get inside. Let's go! Starting with the map, so this is Charles de Gaulle Airport, as you can see it's very big. It has a total of seven different terminals and each of them has their own lounges. In this episode we'll focus on Terminal 2E, it's Air France's international terminal and they have three different lounges. We'll review them in order that I've discovered them and it also happens to be in order of preference. So let's go with the first one. Starting with the K. I've been on this one several times and the first time I came it was early morning, it was super busy and I had very disappointing impression about this lounge. It was also one of the first times I was flying business class, so I was very excited and then, yeah. I mean, it's a nice space, there is a lot of room. When you enter, you have a choice to go on the right section or on the left. The right section is less crowded, but it's also a bit more dark. If you're looking for a calm, less crowded vibe, this is probably where you should go. On the left, you have really big windows, but then the middle section is still very dark because these windows are just at the back. The food choices are pretty similar across lounges. You always have the salad bar, cheeses, breads, butters. Then you will have a hot section that usually has a soup and a few options of hot dishes. And then there is a dessert stand. Next to it, coffee, tea stations and bar with wine and champagne, but also some hard liquor. And then the furniture, as you can see, it's in better days. Funny thing, they actually have been closed for renovations during COVID. Reopened in 2021, they've updated some paint, bar sections, but didn't do a full renovation. I mean, it's not horrible, but it just doesn't feel as beautiful as other two lounges that we will see in this episode. The lounge is not too busy, you can always find a, a seat and like even a section that is fully empty. And I found this nice area with this amazing decoration. It's right by the window so I can see the planes passing. It's um, minimalistic, quite bright. The food area was crowded, but other than that, quite a lot of space and for the most part it's pretty empty. They have showers here and facial spa. So let me do a proper tour. As you could guess from the entrance footage, this is quite a big space and this map gives you a better idea of what they have. Right now we are near the entrance and in the middle of this first big seating area that has three subsections. Next to it you have the restaurant area. This is the most popular side of the lounge, obviously. Though it gets crowded, you have enough seats so that you can always get a table and enjoy your food. And then on the other side you have a more diverse spaces. There is two dedicated areas. One is for work and the second one is for relaxation. It doesn't have sleeping pods, but it has this very comfortable lounger. To complete service offer, you also have showers and the spa area. This is a shower. Let me show you around. So this is the entrance. Then we have a sink with a big mirror. The shower itself, bathroom, and the set of towels. The spa area. And the spa area, it's super cool, but also extremely frustrating because I've been to different Air France lounges more than 10 times this year and I've never been able to book a spa session. There was only one time when I actually saw a slot available, but it was so far out that I couldn't realistically book it because by that time I would be already on the flight. It's still a cool thing to have, but I feel like if they can't provide enough slots where people can actually try it, it's more of a frustration than the benefit. And to give you the full sense of how big 
and beautiful this lounge is, let's just do a quick walkthrough. I was actually very surprised to discover that it's been almost 10 years since this lounge been opened. I thought it was brand new or maybe a couple of years into opening, but it turns out it's been 10. So from this perspective, the lounge hey, that we've been to just before, probably around 30 years old, and yeah, it definitely could use some renovation. Anyway, this one is one of my favorite lounges overall, just because of how beautifully designed it is, but also the comfort and the amount of sittings that it provides. And before we move to the third and the favorite lounge in this terminal, let me show you the food section. It's pretty similar to the previous lounge. Its presentation is much better. The space is bigger. You have a cold salad bar where you can compose your own. You have warm dishes, a few coffee and tea stations, and then because we're in France, there's always the cheese section and the selection of fresh bread and pastry like croissants and pain au chocolat. And finally, welcome to the third and my favorite lounge of Air France, Charles de Gaulle Airport, located in 2L. This lounge is all kinds of fancy. This is the last one to open, it's also the biggest one, and I think it's the fanciest out of three. It opened in 2018, which makes it only six years old, and considering that two out of these years there was very little travel, essentially brand new. It has the massive amount of sittings, there is a few different areas. My favorite one was all the way in the back, and this area has an open kitchen and the bar, and then the usual serve yourself food bar. The food offer is very similar to the other two lounges, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but at the bar you can also have some special drinks. And the specials of this lounge do not end there. One of the most impressive things, and the first ever I've seen in any lounges I've been to, sauna. And this is actually free to book, we had a very short time there, so unfortunately we didn't get to explore it and I only have one photo of how it looks. But this is just so next level of opulence. It also has the same spa and like the other time, this one didn't have any spots. So I'm yet to experience this in Air France Lounge. Some other things worth mentioning is the working area, nap area, detox bar, kids area, and just in general, overall area is just so beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite spaces and I can't wait to have another flight from this terminal. And that's gonna be it for the overview of the lounges. And now let me tell you a little bit more about how you can get in. The three main ways you can get inside is flying business class, having a status with Air France, or the tried and true, pay with cash. Sometimes you can get the lounge access benefits with your cards. Unfortunately, it's not the case with those three lounges. You have to rely on your benefits with the airline. Air France or any partner airline so includes all these airlines. So if you have status with any of those, you will also be able to access Air France lounges. I'm curious to know what you think about those, which one was your favorite, and if you've been to any of those, what was your experience? I wish you safe travels and I will see you in the next one.